I'm John Rowland with Holland Park Lapidary, and today I'm going to talk to you about the new control interlock box that we put on all our big slab saws. The idea behind this, first and foremost, is uh, about uh, preventing the saw to start when you are working inside of it. And uh, also for the European market, we put a hood switch on it, so if you go to open the hood, it's going to interrupt the circuit and turn the motor off. So when you go to start your saw, it's pretty simple. You're closing the hood, making sure it's seated properly. And, and if you listen, you'll hear the hood switch clicking on and off when, when it goes down. And then you'll notice that the, the e-stop switch, if you turn it, you turn it clockwise like that, it pops out. When it pops out, um, that means that it's on. Uh, if you push it in, that's shutting the saw off. Then the automatic shutoff switch, we pull out, and when we push this button, that starts the saw. If the hood is open like that, it will interrupt the circuit. There's a contactor in here. If you push the emergency stop, like Keep going. so if the hood is opened, that will interrupt the circuit. If the switch flips off, that will interrupt the circuit. Or if the emergency stop is pushed, if you hear a rock come loose or something doesn't sound right in the cutting, that also will stop the saw. The idea behind this is that on some of the older style switches, if the, the, the automatic shutoff shuts off just like that, on this one, it will shut off the circuit. On some of the older saws, if you reach inside and then you go to slide the carriage back, it will flip back and turn this on. But on this control box, that can't happen. So no more oil bath. After the saw has shut itself off and you change your rock setting, maybe you want to take another slice to restart the saw. Again, it's closing the hood, pulling that back on, and then pressing the button again. 